It was a historic header. This is why they call it the mother of all derbies. I was like, like I wanted to, to cry. The emotions uh, were exhilarating. Pure ecstasy, unbridled joy, but it wasn't even the winning goal. On match day 13 of the 2017-18 season, Borussia Dortmund and Schalke met for the 91st time in the Bundesliga, and both clubs came into the game in starkly contrasting form. Dortmund were in crisis with just one point from their last five games. Peter Boss's side were horribly out of shape. On the other hand, Schalke were on a high. Domenico Tedesco's side was second in the table after 12 games and above their arch rivals for the first time in over 900 days. Could Dortmund use the Revere derby as a turning point? It's like different than any other game. It's, uh, it's just amazing, you know, everyone's so, so into the game and it's, uh, it's just a di different atmosphere. You can feel it with the fans. For the home side, it was also about the future of coach Peter Boss, but there was no feeling of a crisis in the first half. Dortmund blew their rivals away. Pulisic back in there. What an opportunity. And Dortmund scored with the first real chance of Bellion. Rudy Shaheen at the Dortmund controls. Awkward one. And it's gone in. Would you believe it? An own goal. The first 45 minutes were a disaster for Schalke. This, uh, this own goal was very hard for my head, but I thought, now Benji, you, you have experience and if you're starting to think too much, you will, you will make a bad game. After a collision between Yevhen Konoplyanka and referee Denis Aitakin, Borussia again had the ball. Coach Domenico Tedesco protested on the touchline, but the deficit continued to grow. Obama Young, three, Mario Götze. The visitors' frustration was clear to see, and Tilo Kera was lucky to escape a red card after a challenge on Nuri Shahi. And it got even worse. The fourth goal came after just 25 minutes. Rafael Guerrero. Bayern were the only team in Bundesliga history who'd ever come back from four goals down to claim a result. Those in blue were reeling at the Zignali Duna Park. Tedesco had to make a change, and Amin Arit was on for Weston McKenney even before half-time. Borussia had put in a masterful performance that few had expected prior to the game. The match looked over even before the halfway stage. Time seemed to slow down. I asked my coaching staff if we could just play 70 minutes today. It was a capitulation and even tougher with the atmosphere. When you're 4-0 down in Dortmund, you think the game's over. We just wanted to go out and win the second half. It was Dortmund who had the first clear chance of the second half. Aubameyang failed to find Goetze and a certain 5-0 lead. But Tedesco's half-time talk seemed to have had an effect on his players. With defeat seemingly an inevitability, the Gelsenkirchen club played with freedom. And that is a fabulous header. Guido Borgstaller, wonderful. Schalke looked a new team, and when first-half substitute Amin Arit struck, it appeared hope had been restored. It's fallen for Arit. The belief is back for Schalke 04. We scored this goal and I think we felt that we can do it and we can score more goals. We have some chance and uh, we feel also that Dortmund is going back, back, back. Borussia were unrecognisable and after Aubameyang picked up his second yellow in the 72nd minute, they were down to 10 men. Schalke sensed a miracle. Guido Burgstahler with the next chance, but Roman Weidenfeller prevented a further goal. The Dortmund keeper had, in fact, already been part of a spectacular derby comeback some years before. In 2008, Jurgen Klopp's Borussia Dortmund had come from 3 0 down to draw 3 3 with their local rivals. Nine years later, and Schalke were out to go one better. Oh, 
It's magnificent! What a Revere derby we're taking in! That goal to make it 4-3 gave everyone a boost to give everything and maybe get something from the game. Injury time and a corner for Schalke, the final chance. It doesn't get more tense than this, but the drama wasn't over yet. It evoked memories of one of the most famous derby goals ever. From the same corner and also in the dying seconds, Jens Lehmann headed home an equaliser for Schalke in 1997. It was the first goal from open play by a keeper in Bundesliga history. And the spirit of Jens Lehmann could be felt by all present. When you're sitting on the bench and, you know, the last corner kick of the game, you're standing up and, you know, you don't know whether it's going to go. You're hoping someone gets ahead on it. No, no! This is why they call it the mother of all derbies. Hi, guys. Did you like that? Subscribe here. <laughs> Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action. Subscribe now.